What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment, where you're about to get that live and that real, yeah. honest review. That's right. We are back for another review, bro. Movie talk is always great, man. Always a good thing, man. Yeah. If you guys don't know who I am, I am J3. I'm on a Shogun, Ninja Assassin. What the? Whoosh, geez, silent, but deadly. <laughs> like this fart. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, all right, so we got a new movie, guys. Um, yeah. This one fell off the radar. Yes, it did. Um, Because of the whole transition of theaters, the pandemic, all that stuff like that. Right, right. And... It came out in theaters, and you know we were a little skeptical. Like, yo, it's the first day. Do we want to go? You know, the whole pandemic. So, right. Uh, we still went after afterwards, but uh, we're gonna be talking about nobody. Oh yes. <laughs> we all seen that trailer, and that trailer was it hit hot. It, hit, it hit hard. <laughs> yes. It was dope. Um, can you feel me? Can you feel me? <laughs> Make it hot. I love that. That's so great. Shout out to Marlon Wayne. Um, Good segue. If you guys are new, we like to review movies different. We talk about the good and we talk about the bad. Yes. I usually say Ronan what we talking about, but let's get into the bad first on okay. this one. All right. I want to get on the bad because nobody really knows how good this movie is. No pun intended. Because ain't nobody talking about this movie. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> so let's get into the bad, bro. Let's do it. It's about to go bad. Okay, so before we get into this review, I forgot. I forgot, guys. This is a spoiler review. I'm sorry, yeah. but I'm kind of on that tip, y'all. I don't have time to try to elude Tiptoe around. my fun that <laughs> I have with this movie or my negatives I have with this movie. Right, I want right. to make sure you guys get the full effect. So this is a spoiler review. Yes. Let's get into the bad. All right. So as far as the bad... It's not an original movie. So it isn't something that you haven't seen before, but uh, it's executed well, and uh, it does a good job of uh, getting you in and getting you out. It's very simplistic. It is from the same writers and producers of John Wick, so you're definitely going to automatically kind of compare and contrast to those two, which is fine because yeah. I love the universe and yeah. I love what they bring. And then uh, the other negative I have is that uh, I felt like the family had a particular set of skills, and I would have mm. liked to have seen more of what they were about. Mama. They did keep them <laughs> mysterious, and maybe that was sequel bait. I don't know. But they were there, and they were utilized well. They didn't uh, get in the way when Bob Odenkirk was doing his thing. But I did want to see some of the family because they were present, and they were there. Might as well learn about them. Yeah. That's kind of where I'm at with the negatives. All That's right. All uh, my negatives have to go before the movie even came out. My negatives has to go down to the studio for not promoting this movie. I think it's a big poor, negative. poor promotion because nobody was talking about this movie. Uh, it came out in a time right when the theaters in LA like were opening back up. So, you know, we were we were skeptical. It came out like that weekend or something. Like right. it's like I don't know if I want to go to the theater, you know, is it safe, blah, 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 because we have this COVID thing. And I feel that they should have really put this on streaming too. That'd been great. The same day as it was released in theaters because it would have got some hype because at that time, uh, Godzilla and Kong, yeah, Godzilla and Kong coming out. The bigger promotions. And then you had Mortal Kombat, and, and you know, it was it was more hype going around in the YouTube uh, in YouTube and, and media stream yeah. of other films. And Shout out to his trailer reaction for bringing awareness you know to the channel like, and yo, people I, that didn't I know. Didn't, I just saw, I saw yeah. uh, Sal Goodman, right, and then I'm like, yo, uh, let's run it. You know what I'm saying? Man. So, um, Greatest theory. Better call Saul or just story. Run with it. People so, are like, oh, what? You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at that, and I'm like, okay, let's get it. So um, I think that was a bad for this movie because this yeah. movie really- It had the odds working against it, for it, sure. It really, it really was uh, its own type of movie, right? but at the same time, very familiar. And I think people would have had a good time watching this in theaters. I think that's, that's what my negative is because you know what this type of movie is, so it's really hard to kind of pinpoint negative- when you know what type of movie it is, and when they hit every mark on the type of movie that it is, especially with Odenkirk as a star, he's got a fo he's got a following. Yeah, and he's great. Yeah, yeah. So, so that kind of was weird too. Like no one's talking about Bob Odenkirk in a lead role action movie. Like yeah, it's unheard of. It was like people just didn't know. So and that's bad marketing. Yeah, I yeah. think I think it was more on a marketing tip because this is an action packed film, and it did it. So yeah. that's our that's that's the negative, man. Um. I think it's gonna make his money back on Blu-ray sales, though. I hope it when does. it drops. I man. hope it does. I'm gonna purchase it because because it was worth the time. Oh yeah. Um, let's get into these goods, man. Let's do um, it. 
You want you want to text him or you want me to go? Uh, you go ahead, bro. You go All ahead. Right. You go ahead. So I will say, uh, Bob Odenkirk's character, uh, nobody is very interesting, and uh, <laughs> he lives a very simple, uh, complicated life. He has his family. He has skills over here, and he has other jobs that he used to do, and he he has a dark past as well. Yeah. But he has a routine that he goes through, and he's just trying to do the best at being normal. He's trying to blend in with a world that kind of knows who he is, but he wants to make sure that they don't know. Yeah. And he's basically playing a Bruce Wayne, but he's really Batman, if that makes sense. Gotcha. And I like that he doesn't get into a situation unless it's necessary for him to put somebody down or unless his family feels threatened or unless he feels betrayed. He has a code. And again, you learn about him as the days go on. He's just going through the motions. Yeah. He's not depressed. He's not really happy. He's just like, all right, I'm getting by, but I I want something better. Like he wants to strive for something better. And then the family is just kind of like, they're there, you know, they're happy. They have this nice house and, they're living their lives and things and living their best life. Things are not really going anywhere. So nobody has to figure out what is next. And then something happens. Yeah. Something tragic happens where him and his family get involved in something. And then that's where the story begins. Hey, I don't go lie, man. One of the goods for me, bro, is just the cast. Um, it was very unique. It's just seeing random people, actors. Yeah. And their old age. Bro. Right, right. Fire. Like Christopher Lloyd was in this movie. Yo, you had the risen in this movie, bro. Right. What's old boy name from Total Recall? Uh, Michael Ironside. <laughs> Sam Fisher for you Spinner Cell fans. I yeah. was looking at him. I was like, Michael Ironside. He's gotten thicker. Yeah. I D- like this movie. Dope character actor, man. Everybody was in here, bro. Everybody. <laughs> hey, bro. And just... Rizzo was a surprise. He he would jump in the stuff. But like I knew this. it was him on the radio. Yeah. I was like, that's the Rizzo voice. Right. Man. I knew. I I I caught that off the top. It was just cool, right hand man character looking out for him, giving him intel. But these family though, yeah, that's the great like the way they set this story up is what I thought was it's very traditional. You know, we understand the type of character this is, but to know why he does what he does, I thought was very uh, genius in the writing. Yeah, um, the the writing is very uh, uh, simple, and it's, it's made for anyone to figure out. Right. Right. Which I like that about certain movies like this, because he could have a very deep, 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 deep backstory that can be complicated. That's why I appreciate it. Yeah. Because they leave it in the air. They leave it in the air. They don't explore too much because they may have ideas later down the line, but, but they want to see how you people get the gist. Except dad's this. an FBI agent. Yeah. Son went to the military. Both sons went to the military. Game. And was in some type of special force. Those are spinoff movies right there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Christopher Lloyd. Great Scott. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> Shotgun. You know what saying? Saying? Oh, man. It brings <laughs> a whole new breed to Great Scott. I want to talk about the scenes in a minute. Yeah. Hey, but I, I really like the way the, the cast the, was dope, the, man. The cast and the directing and the writing was good, man. It's something about seasoned veteran actors just being badass just and an fun. action movie. Yeah, you know, and it's it doesn't take any way because they've kind of they've passed their prime, but they still are doing relevant work of roles that you probably wouldn't normally see them in as they were starting out in their careers. Who you think? Well, I, I can't say who started it, but who was one of those actors that you noticed started doing that after the fact of the retirement? Like, yo, this dude's done, bro. And he's still Connery like, was doing that. He did it for Sean like Connery three whole decades, sure four was, decades. Yep. He was yeah. like, you know what? I'm tired of it. I ain't going to win no Oscars. still, <laughs> I, it's crazy. Like, because even at the age he was in, like 90s and 2000s, he was putting out great action movies. Yeah, it was like, yo. It was crazy, like, at his age, still doing that. So it's like, it can be done. When when I hear people talk about actors and age or they're too old, I I can't defend that anymore because it's like it, it's all about the script and the story. If they believe in it, they're gonna do it. Liam Neeson's doing it right now. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like Connery did it before he passed. Rest in peace. Christopher Lloyd's here. He's still holding Tommy it down. Tommy Jones was doing it for him. Tommy Jones is still holding it down. They yep. there it's a it's a level to it. It's all about the material. Yeah. It's all about the material. But and I respect it. And I, and I thought that was really nice. Like yeah. just watching these older actors in here together in this together, one movie and this kind of movie on some shock base. Yeah. Um. The writing was cool. I really liked the writing. The directing. Uh. Uh. Who directed this film? Uh. Ilya Naya Scheller. This guy that did Hardcore Henry. Who? Uh, yeah. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest video game movie of all time. Cause hey. of you, I find I got beat up in the theater. But you got that impact, though. <laughs> D-Box, bro. You got a D-Box beating. <laughs> I got my ass whooped. Yo. 
I, I'll never do it again. Because yes, you, sir. I never, no, I know never to buy a D-Box ticket to any That's action funny. movie. Bro, I got, I got my ass whooped, bro. Hey, that was some dope directing, though. Like, and he brings that subtleness here. Like, <laughs> with, the, uh, with the screenwriter and his style directing, they, they made a great team when it uh, yeah. was able to tell this action drama story, man. But uh, I think that's another uh, positive, too. The writer, man, Derek Kostad, he's yeah. a writer to look out for. And what he's done with the John Wick trilogy <sighs> and what he's doing here, it, it's bleeding over here. And I feel like nobody can be something even bigger and massive, too. It really can. But I love the idea of they're not thinking about sequels, but they leave that in the air. And like, hey, if you guys want that, you know, we have plans. Yeah. But let's make sure we get the first entry right. And I love that because it, it's a good, confined, contained movie that could explore other things. And you mentioned it. Mm -hmm. So I, I love that, man. Like his, his action writing is really good. And he does have great character to dialogue. It's not going to win any awards, but he gives you enough information to want to know more about these people. And he knows how to write characters. This would be and a great video great. game, too. It would. It really would. That's what would. I'm saying. He's a great, you know, very, like, gifted, like, writer, man. He really got in the areas where it was like, okay, well, this is where we need some information here. Okay, this is going to be narrative. And then this is going to be bang, bang, bang over here. All right, cool. I'm loving it. I'll take it. This movie had a lot of... Simple uh, but complex. Uh, he ain't lying. This film has a lot of familiar movies in it. Like, you could tell, like, they, they, they pulled a lot yeah. to make this movie. Not just John Wick. It had, it had a nice John Wick theme, but it also had Deadpool theme to me. Oh, yeah. It had um, uh, Robert McCoy, uh, Equalizer. Equalizer, yeah. Great it movie. Had, it had um, some... some uh, some Western. I felt some Clint Eastwood in this. Yeah, yeah, no you doubt. You know, um, definitely Bob Coda. He like really. Did yeah, that. like yeah. you know, what I'm saying the whole setup of it. Long walks down the street and stuff by himself. Yep, yep, yep. Not being afraid, knowing he's gonna get into some stuff, but he knows he can handle himself. I even felt some fugitive in this. Oh yeah, yeah. Waiting yep. to be challenged. Yep. Yeah, yep. that's. I, I, I felt that. I felt yeah. that. I, I, feel, I feel. I it. felt some 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 films in this, and those yeah. are all good movies. Um, and that's cool when you get those elements and you can see that through the directing and the storytelling. Yeah. And you can tell the maybe the filmmaker, his intentions were to uh, capture those in little small moments and pay tribute. And I like when uh, filmmakers do that and do subtle nods and winks to other great action movies in the genre. Like, it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, what else you got that's good? That's it? Uh, I like the I like the family. Yeah. They're cool. They're mysterious. I wish we got to know them a little bit more. But... Uh, the performances are good. They're, you know, they stood by their, uh, uh, the wife stood by her husband and the son stood by his dad, but there was a little bit of rebellious. He kind of wanted to be in his shadow, but then at times he didn't care. So why was that relationship at that point and what made him want to rebel? It's almost kind of like he wanted to invest in his dad's stories of him being a soldier. Yeah. Because maybe I thought, maybe personally, that he wanted to go down that path and learn some things or maybe be that life and kind of carry on the family name. And I felt like the son maybe felt like he couldn't have an identity of his own yeah. because he felt like if he didn't do this, he would be failing his dad. Right, right, right. So I, I thought it was a cool little uh, interesting thing to kind of give us a little bit of the little drama there. Granted, it wasn't necessary, but it worked and they pulled it off well and I'm glad we got it Yeah. because now I want to know more about the son. Yeah. So that's a good. I want to I know, you know a lot about them. Uh, yeah. That family's very unique. Um, and the wife seemed like she could have been a Barbara Gordon or something. I, I think she she was because yeah. he said he used to patch me up and everything like right. that. So she, I think she was in some she type comes of in handy. Um, I think it's just to talk about scenes now, man. At this yeah. point, uh, give me give me two good scenes. I will give you two good scenes. All right, cool. Uh, I, I like the uh, the the walk home from work uh, where he was going to the bus stop and uh, the thugs on the uh, bus <laughs> messing with him. Now, he had a choice to leave, and he said, no, I'm going to handle this and see if I still got it. And I uh, walked in there and told the guy he's, he's going to F him up and took him out. And it was the most hilarious fight choreography, but it was dope at the same time. Like, Because you thought he was beat. Yeah. And he's like, nah. The way he was taking him out was like that old man dad strength. Like, it was dope. Like, yeah, he was really yeah, holding yeah. that. And Bob Odenkirk is like, he, he, he husky. Yeah. Like, he ain't no small, scrawn dude. Like, he was husky. Yeah, he was in there. He was, he was holding it in. in. And, and that, that was really unique, too, because just to see the way how they broke the bus down to win this victory. Yeah. That was dope. And it's crazy, though, how um, the guys that play uh, some of the thugs, you guys probably know them if you watch the uh, action movies and the John Wick stuff. They always reuse the same actors to play the bad guy, number one, bad guy, number two. Yeah. They were John Wick films, too. Uh, <laughs> Daniel Bernhardt and uh, Alan Moosey. Like, they were dope, too. Like So it was cool. And you know when them guys are involved, the action's going to be on point. So they really uh, brought that, even as villains. So it gave Bob Odenkirk something to perform and play off of, and it was great. That was dope. 
Good uh, action in this movie, too. Great action. Very simple, but very well choreographed. And uh, the settings and uh, the different styles of action in this. We got fist fights. We got knife fights. We got gun fights. Yes, like, yes, yes. We got everything. Uh, they were setting traps almost like on some saw stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was dope, man. So that was that saw, equalizer stuff. I was, yeah. Yeah, I was feeling that. That was creative. And uh, you, got the, too. you got the death. You got the you got the rated R deaths. Yeah, and you got the blood. Yeah. One of the, one of my favorite scenes was when he was like, "Pops, I did some. Uh, look out." He was like, <laughs> he was like, he was like, "All right, cool." And then Christopher Lloyd, because Christopher Lloyd's his dad, and he's this old yeah. dude, bro. And he's just sitting on that couch. All oh, that, that chair, bro. Was fire. And he just opens that eye, bro. <laughs> Bow. I was like, "Oh up. shit!" <laughs> Shot him with that shotgun. And then he killed him. And then he was like, oh. he was like, he was because he was done. He was, yeah. Sh- 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 shut up, take this shit. He was like, cut the TV down. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> Cold blooded Christopher Greatest Lloyd. Introduction ever. Christopher Lloyd stole the show from me. Sorry, oh, yeah. Bob. Christopher Lloyd, Great Scotts, bro, yeah. stole the show from me, man. One point twenty one gigawatts. He was just, he was just, just clocking the the, the shotgun back, just going through food. Oh, yeah. dude, dude. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> and then look like he was dying as he was doing it too. It was so funny. <laughs> I was so worried of him dying. Yeah. I was like, no, don't kill him. Don't right. kill him. Don't kill him. Thank y'all for not killing him. But bro. he held on. Like, I was like, yo, he handling this. Then the RZA came out. I ain't never. Hey, the way the RZA handled that gun, he had yeah. that, that, that uh, sniper. Yeah. Shot three hands in a row. He was straight up. Yeah. A video game shit. John Wick stuff. I loved it. You know, they I had to throw it. that in there. I loved it. I yeah. Loved it. RZA did his thing, man. Uh, I, I kind of want a, a spinoff story about him too. Because uh, that that chemistry and connection and relationship was very strong because you hear him throughout the movie. And that was really great storytelling because just introducing him as a voice behind the radio, you knew he was going to be important later. Yeah. But they kept referring back to him every time nobody came in contact with him. And he was always giving him intel and he was always keeping in touch with him. And that was a good subtle way to let us know we might be seeing this character pretty soon. So mm-hmm. that well well done on the directing with that. Yeah, uh, the directing. Uh, you got characters that you can slowly build and give them their own stories. And then when they're not around nobody, like, you can do that. Yeah, I, I was really feeling this, man. This movie, I, I recommend everybody needs to take a look at this film. If you have to stream it or whatever, just do it. Because this needs, I, I honestly want a sequel to this. Me too. I want I'll something. I want something, and I'm just I, grateful for the action films we're getting, and yeah. then uh, the quality and uh, the writers and directors behind it. Mm-hmm. That's what it's all about, man. A lot of fun watching this, man. I actually, it's funny because uh, it's a rated R movie, and uh, I had I, I streamed it at home. Cool. And uh, we low key watched it as a family. Like it was, oh, only, it, was only, it was only one person with their eyes closed. That's the best. And that was that was my daughter. <laughs> like, because I kid you not, I'm going to tell you this. Like, I know maybe you'd be like, no, your children shouldn't watch it. But, man, you know, I watched Rambo when I was five. My son's five. And <laughs> I'll tell you, when Bob, Bob, if, if Bob watches this, this is some real shit that happened. When he whooped the ass on the bus, right? Yeah. And he cut the throat and put the straw in there so he can breathe. Saved right? him. Yeah, that was dope. My son said. That was awesome. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like <laughs> that's dope. Detail. That Attention like, to detail. He was sitting on the floor. He's like, that was awesome. I was wow. Like, his sister was like, you're not supposed to be watching this. I was like, you go to your room. <laughs> that's funny, dude. This is a great family movie. Hey, it is. I huh? loved it, man. Christopher Lloyd, boy. <laughs> Shoot, it was tight. It, it's got everything you want in there. Yeah, man. And it's, it's simple. It's mm-hmm. fun. They even had kind of look. He had like he he went having sex with his wife and stuff. He had that little that little yeah. that little fling real quick. And he got his little energy back. Man. Oh yeah, he was running some shit. She was hot, bro. Yeah. When he went in there with the, whip that ass over that door, nigga. Oh, like, dude. Yeah, she was like, oh, fuck. I remember this. Is why we got two kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, when they uh, when they broke into the house into the back <laughs> cave and he had them uh, lock the door and stuff and they went into the attic secret hideout there. Oh man, he secretly, was putting it in secretly paid in full when he gave. When he gave her dad the money, oh boy from uh, Total Recall. Yeah. And her brother came, he just laid his shit out, bro. Look, oh, fuck. Crazy. Oh. He was like, If anyone ever breaks into your house, golf club is the most reliable weapon. <laughs> He's going to effort. But this is when I knew he was really cold when he was like, Why didn't you do it? Her gun was empty. And they showed the replay. Like he saw the empty barrel that in the was dark, bro. Crazy. I knew he was a problem. He's a boogeyman, too. Yeah. Baba Yaga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all need to check this movie out. Let's yeah. get this movie a grade, man. Let's do it. Nobody. Bob. Uh, uh, Odenkirk. Shoot, I'm choking on my spit, man. It's I'm that, excited. It's that good, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> mm, make you want to slap your mama. <laughs> nah, uh, 
gonna give this film. I'm gonna be honest, man. I think it's a family movie. It's just violent. Okay. But I really enjoyed this. My house enjoyed it. It is getting purchased on 4K. And nice. It's going in the collection. I give this movie a solid A. Okay. I'm gonna give this movie a B plus. Woo! I, I want more, and uh, I understand that they were limited, and uh, they weren't sure if they wanted to continue it with a uh, sequel or not. But I understand they probably saved those mysterious moments and elements for a continuation. But uh, I had a blast with it, and I think it's a great action movie. B plus across the board. I'm gonna be buying it too, mm-hmm. and uh, I do want to see more. So mystery is good, and I'll take it. It was great. So this next movie need to be called Everybody. Yeah, needs to take a look at this film. <laughs> a body universe. There you go. <laughs> I'm with it, man. I'm with it. Uh, that's the review, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, and Keanu Reeves should pop up in the next one. Shh, there you go. I'm telling you. <laughs> Continental. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, need to do, we need to do a video on that. Stars, hey. <laughs> stars. Shout out I, to stars. I heard about, hey, I've, I love that Safe Haven stuff. That's yes. dope. All right. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. I'm J3. Running Shogun and Just Assassin. Oh, oh. Silent Chi. And uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and push that subscribe button. Thumbs this video up. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Yes. Links are down below. We out.